Welcome back to Spooky Oki. This week, we are taking you along with us on our very first investigation, and I'm so excited for you guys to hear it. We went into this fully expecting nothing at all to happen. We're pretty skeptical, but wow, were we wrong because we talked to some ghosts and it was quite spooky. So I'm so excited for you guys to hear it. I will say again that the audio was not great. Catherine did sit on her mic and then forget to turn the second one on. So we are working with what we have and it's good enough for you to get what's going on. So it'll be all right. Anyway, here are the Violet Springs and Kanawha Cemeteries. Okay, hi guys. We are out at Violet Springs Cemetery right now. Whoop, whoop. I'm nervous. I'm actually really terrified and it is daytime. I am too and you guys just missed it but we got out of the car and then the crow started cawing. Not ominous at all. Yeah, this is, this is fine. This is fine. And remember Violet Springs is the little whiskey town that would have Sometimes up to eight murders a day. So lots of lots of spooky things here. This yes. is supposed to be a pretty haunted cemetery. Um, nice. Sorry if you hear the wind. Um, it's not sure that we can do anything about that. Hopefully it adds to the mood. But it's Oklahoma, so. <laughs> the wind comes sweeping down the plane. All right, so I'm not sure which corner was the one that was supposedly reserved for people who were murdered in Violet Springs. But one of these corners was reserved for people murdered here. And um, it's not a very big cemetery, so we will test it all out. Don't you worry. Should we get some equipment out? I, yeah, why not? All right, let's do it. As I'm like holding my phone they, and a paper and a backpack. Are they turning in? They're turning in. Shoot. I'm like checking to see what we're doing. Oh no, we're already getting in trouble, guys. I'm gonna have to move my car. Because people are here. Good, how are you? We're skipping over the conversation we had with the man who cares for the cemetery. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Okay, I feel like we can talk now. Yeah. Um, You guys, that was the most, like, small town Oklahoma experience of my life. <laughs> Happened to know the random guy that takes care of the cemetery. <laughs> right. The, the <laughs> caretaker of the cemetery just stopped by. Ask Catherine how her dad is. Um, so, <laughs> a little taste of small town Oklahoma life. I, I graduated right with there. his granddaughter. Yeah. With one of his granddaughters. <laughs> so, um, I thought we were going to get kicked out for sure. I thought so too. I was terrified. My heart dropped. <laughs> I was like, oh. crap. I expected it. What are y'all doing here? Me too. I'm sure that won't be the only person to stop by though. Don't worry. Oh yeah. I'm sure we'll have lots of interruptions. Yes. Anyway, I'm sure that will have all been edited out and people will be like, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. Um, right. Just a very nice man with a nice mustache, glasses. Who <laughs> talked to us. Sweet man. Talked to us for a while. Okay, we are in a corner of the cemetery. It doesn't appear to be... Um, appears to be newer stuff. Yeah. This does not appear to be the corner that was reserved for people murdered here. Yeah. Yeah, so. this area is newer, so we yeah. gotta go back to the spooky stuff. I wonder about... Um, further that way. Okay. It looks like there were a few older ones maybe in that corner. Sorry, I need to do a better job of like describing what we're doing. I feel like I'm just like, wow. Wow. Great. Yeah, look at these. And obviously you guys can't see anything. So, so, so sorry. Um, we are walking around during the golden hour. It's, it's like, it's actually kind of beautiful in like a very creepy way. Yes. Um, the light is gorgeous. The fact that we're in a cemetery, not so much. What's that one? There's a very old looking headstone, so we're yeah. looking to see what it says. It looks so, like it's like hand carved. Uh, 1847. Well, should we get some ghosty equipment out? Yes. Give the people what they want? Yes. Okay. Um, Maybe not the Downing Rose yet. Okay. Just because that one's more visible and I don't... Should yeah. I get an EVP going? Yeah, I kind of want to save the battery on that one for um, the Conway Cemetery. Yeah, because that's this really spooky one. Um, okay. So maybe go ahead and get the Dowling Rose out. I feel like that's an easy one. Oh, okay. hold on. EMF detector. What are we thinking? Let's see if there's any spooky things going on around here. Yeah. Because if there's nothing reading, then yeah. there's not really a point in getting other stuff out, probably, right? Probably not. Okay, I'm so glad you guys are joining us on this journey. As you can tell, we're true professionals. Um, 
we have no idea what we're doing. We've never used this equipment <laughs> no. in our lives. Yeah. Um, we just like bought salt from Dollar General. <laughs> so no, no, no. Family Dollar. Sorry. Slash Dollar Tree. Family Dollar slash Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. They're the same thing now, apparently. Yeah. They're they're a combo store. Combo store. Okay, we're gonna try this EMF reader. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, don't worry because I don't really either. Something about picking up like electromagnetic sure frequencies. fields and frequencies and stuff. Yep. All I know is if the light goes red, that's not good. <laughs> so here we go. I'm turning this thing on. I also don't know how to use it, so that's true. It's just green right now. Okay. We're walking around the cemetery. Right. It's staying on like the most innocent little green that it could possibly be on. Normally we'll be telling you guys all about all of the spooky occurrences that have happened in these places that we are. However, there's not a lot that's reported in Violet Springs part of the cemetery. There are two cemeteries that are separated by a road. Kanawha Cemetery is the one that seems to be like the more haunted location. Um, and so we're kind of saving the spooky stories for when we get over there. Right now we're at Violet Springs, which, as you guys know from last week, has its own dark history, but nothing really reported like paranormal in the cemetery that I've seen. Although, here's a personal story. Are you guys excited for a personal story personal about story. a personal paranormal experience? Actually, it's not even mine. I shouldn't even call it that. My uncle was with his friends. He grew up in the same town, so they used to all, you know, run around out of cemeteries, I guess. That's what teenage boys do. I don't know. Yeah. But well, in a town like this. In a town like this, that's what you do is you run around at cemeteries. Oh, these are spooky. This is very spooky. This I'm is. so sorry. We got to the the old graves for sure. Yeah. Spooky, ooky. Spooky, ooky. Anyway, sorry. Um, I got distracted by the old headstones. But when my uncle was a teenager, he and some friends were like driving around to cemeteries, as apparently teenage boys do in a small town like this. And they drove by this one, Violet Springs, and it was probably, I think it was about 3 a.m. is what he said. And um, they saw a group of people in black hooded robes all standing around some graves. Ooh. And when they pulled in to see what, what was going on, the people like jumped in the van and sped off. That's so and creepy. Yeah, I, I don't have, like, the whole story. I need to talk to him again. Maybe he can come me on the podcast and tell it himself because I'm sure I'm leaving things out. But they are positive that they stumbled upon a satanic cult out here. And it wouldn't be the first that I had heard of that. So yeah, definitely possible. So far, the EMF is just staying on green. Okay, let's go to this one over here because this one also looks older. All right, we have got the dousing rods out. So if there is anything here... Wait, which way does which way do the rods go? It does no. yes cross? No. Yes opens. Yes opens. No, no crosses. crosses. Yeah. Okay, great. Sorry, ghosts. We don't know what we're doing. Hope you guys do. All right. If anything's here, you can use these to talk to us. I. How do you talk to ghosts? I don't. Well, nothing's happening. They're kind of they're moving a little bit together, and I'm getting really nervous holding these. So they're not. They're not crossing, but they're. Oh. 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 Okay. You guys, they just crossed. They just crossed. They just crossed. Okay, so they don't want to talk. Okay, we respect that and we will leave you be. <laughs> okay. But it never did it, but yeah. It was also very cheap. It's not like I bought good equipment, so <laughs> who knows? Um, but the spirits were pretty clear about they not no. wanting to talk, and so we're, not. we're just going to respect that. Yep. They're like, if yeah. Any, I, I think maybe Catherine Cross would like to talk. We're going to try to talk to her. She's talked to people in the past. She's talked to people in the past, so she's used to that. Um, she's also used used to um, EVPs. They've done a lot of EV, EVP sessions with her, which I apparently cannot say. I've stuttered every time I've tried to say that. Great. Love that. Um, <laughs> so we're driving across the road to the Kanawha Cemetery now. I think... Um, I'm a little terrified of Violet Springs, so we're going to just yeah. go to this other one that's supposed to be even more haunted, so I don't know why I'm retreating here, but... But you know, the, they were pretty clear. They said no. They and said no. They clearly said no, and you guys, um, that was... I, did, I fully expected nothing to happen. I did not expect anything to happen at all. We've never used this. We've never gone ghost hunting. We don't know what we're doing, and... Glad I went to the bathroom before we came. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> 
I'm glad we're going to get food after this. Cause yeah. I'm going to need a drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, it looks like it's picking us up again. Hello, um, hello. Should hello, we hello. tell them what just happened? Yeah. So <laughs> um, I can't be trusted with nice things. And we're using my phone to record. And like the mic that we have has a little thing that plugs in to pick it up. I, I like at the power at the power. Um, can you tell we don't know anything about podcasting or audio equipment? I don't know what it's called, but there's a thing that plugs into the phone. Port. It's a little like block thing. And um, I don't have pockets, so I asked Catherine to um, put to put my phone in her pocket so I could use the dowsing rods. And then I forgot that. And I had she it sat it on it pocket. and broke the mic receiver thing. And so we were just <laughs> sitting there talking, and I was like, wait, not, why are there no little voice wave things? And Nothing's like, happening. Oh, I think I broke she it. She completely broke it. Um, <laughs> not the phone, just the little box. So um, yeah, thankfully, thankfully I'm not great to the phone because I'm a teacher and I can't afford to buy a new iPhone. And I'm an actress, so I self tape on my phone because I'm poor and I don't have a camera. Um, so <laughs> I would have been really out of luck. Um, but we're good. So we are back. Um, I don't know when that stopped recording because, you know, the mic broke. But thankfully, broke we had a backup mic. We bought two sets of them. So I didn't think we would need, need, to, <laughs> need to use both sets the first time we go out within the first 20 minutes. But, you know. <laughs> when you're dealing with me, apparently you do. <laughs> but Catherine sat on it, so it's fine. Um, so fun fact. Catherine actually did not turn her mic on when she um, got the new mic out after breaking the first one. So we've tried to re-record her audio and add it back in, but obviously we don't really know what we're doing and we don't know anything about editing. So if it sounds weird, that's why. Um, her mic was actually off this entire next section. So that's great. I hope I'm speaking into the mic enough. I keep turning my head. I think it'll pick it up. Okay. I hope. We'll see. We'll see. So we have come over to the next cemetery, which actually is supposed to have more paranormal activity. And there are, there are a lot of spooky things that have happened in this one, you guys. The sun is starting to set. It's still pretty light out, but the sun's starting to set. So we are going to go around and try to find Catherine Cross's headstone. This is a big cemetery. This is going to take forever to find. Ugh. Did something happen? Uh-huh. Oh, the EMF meter's going off. Is it? Yes. Oh, it's, it's going off. Maybe it's because the phone is so close. Maybe. We're going to chalk that one up to just a little technology fluke there. I hope. This looks promising. Literally right on the other side of the car. Yeah. I think we started one row ahead of this one. Yeah. Cool. I think we found it. You guys. Hold on, let me double check before I freak out. Yes, we found it. All right, we are here at Catherine Cross's grave. I'm going to go ahead and get the EVP out. Yeah. Um, it just flashed. Yeah. The EMF, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add in our recording from our EVP recorder here. The audio is not as good, but you can at least hear both Catherine and I instead of us trying to really terribly splice in her audio. Um, you guys, I know it's so bad. I'm sorry. We'll make sure her mic is on next time. Um, but we're going to go ahead and use what we got from our digital EVP recorder. Um, again, the audio is not as good. You can hear a lot of background sounds, but I feel like that kind of adds to it. Um, you can hear like the wind howling and kind of the highway sounds and coyotes howling and things like that, which is a little spooky, I think. So enjoy. Okay, it is, it's recording now, so I'm just going to set it down, I think, right here, okay. kind of by her, where her headstone would have been, and remember her headstone said murder by human wolves. Um, the headstone is no longer here, uh, it has been stolen multiple times. Yes, but, but the last time it was not returned. Yes. Um, so... Uh, right now there's the base where the headstone would sit, um, and it's got a lot of random items on it. Yes, people like to come here and leave things for Catherine. Um, not our Catherine, Catherine Cross. Catherine Cross. Um, oh, maybe you guys can bond over that. Yeah. We should Catherine introduce too? ourselves. Hi, Catherine. Um, I'm Madison. Hi, Catherine. I'm Catherine. It's really nice to meet you. We're, we're glad to be here, and, um, we would... 
uh, love uh, to get to talk to you for a bit. We've sure. heard a lot about you. And get the dowsing rods out too. Yeah, we're gonna get the dowsing rods out. And um, I think we can set the EMF meter down and I'll just glance at it sometimes. We're trying okay. to figure out how to balance all of this equipment and stuff. Yeah, since it's like Do you wanna walking. do the rods? Yeah, I'll do the okay. rods this time. Catherine's doing the rods right now. Okay. Okay, so. Catherine, um, if you would like to speak to us, please open the rods. If you do not want to speak to us, please close the rods. They're closing, guys. <gasps> oh, oh, they're opening completely up. Oh, she changed her mind. Okay. Is that okay, Catherine? We don't want to invade your space or do anything that might make you um, feel uncomfortable. They're still open, so I'm going to take that as a yes. We also have an EVP re recorder here, so you can talk to us with words as well. Um, we won't hear it till later, though. So if there's anything you want to answer immediately that you want us to know, just go ahead and use the rods. So is this Catherine Krause that we're talking to? You guys, this is a little nerve wracking. Um, OK, they immediately crossed. We also have the EVP going, so you can tell us who you are. We would love to learn about you as well. Is this Dr. Yates? If it's Dr. Yates, okay, they crossed more, so it's not Dr. Yates. Not Dr. Yates. All right. Is it somebody that is buried near here? They're staying crossed. Yeah. I'm not totally sure what to do with that information. I'm not sure. Oh. I think that was across a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Did you? Uh huh. Hmm. Do you have a connection to Catherine Cross? No. No. They're crossing more. No. Okay. 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 I don't know what to ask now. I wasn't prepared for this. Do you think the rods are messing up? I don't know. They're they're being a little crazy. Yeah. Are you ghost person? Are you drunk? <laughs> it's a yes. <laughs> ghost person is drunk. <laughs> this just in. It <laughs> is a wild yes. Those spread they, faster they, than I've ever seen. That's so fast, and they're just flailing. They are flailing. They are flailing. What today. is happening? <gasps> okay. <laughs> you have a sense of humor, I see. Okay. <laughs> I understand. We all like to have a good time. Did you die in Violet Springs? They're staying at a yes. Okay, let to back to like maybe clarify that, or maybe um, to double check that. Let's say, did you die in Kanawha? They're going closer together. They're not crossed yet, but they are. Okay. They crossed. Okay. They did not die in Conwa. They died in Violet Springs. Okay. Okay. So definitely did not expect this to actually happen. Wow. I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, I didn't have a list of interview questions. I don't know what to ask. Um, I didn't expect to get any responses. I didn't either. Um, we also have the EVP. Should we ask if they were murdered? Were you murdered? Okay, they closed more. They closed more. Okay, well, I'm I'm very glad that you were glad murdered. you weren't murdered. Did you hear a growl? I mean, I hear the dog barking, but like, no. <sighs> Ghost, did you hear the growl? Ghost isn't saying anything. Ghost isn't saying anything. I wish we had a name. I don't want to keep calling I, the ghost. I know. I shouldn't. I call want to ghost. be respectful. I should have. I should have restated that better. No, no. I should not have restated that better. Okay, ghost is fine. Okay, do you want us to call you ghost? Is ghost fine because we don't know your name? If you want us to just call you ghost, go ahead and open them. If you would prefer that we don't call you ghost, please close. Please them. close them. Okay, the rods are just kind of like one, one is the ghost one is, is open. Drunk, so oh yes. Oh oh no, no don't call ghost. Okay, okay okay. Really sorry. We call will not ghost. call you ghost. 
We are not meaning to be disrespectful. Not in any way. No. Um, I don't know what else to I don't know what else to ask because we don't know who it is. Okay. So if they died in Violet Are Spring. you buried in Violet Springs Cemetery? Okay. They closed more. They, closed so they are not more. buried, in, not Violet buried in Violet Springs. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what other questions to ask. I'm not sure. Should we try to just do EVPs with Catherine? Yeah. Do you think we should try to do an EVP with Catherine, whoever we're speaking with? All right, one is opening and one is staying, one is closed. staying closed. Okay, they are both opening, so we should do an EVP session with Catherine? Okay, I think that's a yes. I think so. Okay, okay. we're going to put the dousing rods down. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you for speaking with us. We appreciate it. And we wish you a peaceful evening. Okay, so we went back and listened to the EVP, and Catherine was not wanting to talk, apparently. So we asked her a few questions. Is your name Catherine Cross? How old were you when you died? Were you murdered? Oh, we're jumping right in. Yeah. What were your parents' names? Were you pregnant when you died? Is there anything you'd like to tell us about your death? How many siblings did you have? Did you like school? What school did you go to? Did you have a favorite teacher? Did you have a least favorite teacher? Ooh. We've both been teachers. Yes. This Catherine still is. Yes. I'm not anymore, but we've both been teachers, so... I think you would have liked us, though. Yeah. We're pretty... We were pretty, we're we were pretty, pretty cool. fun teachers. Yeah. What town did you live in? How old were you when you first kissed a guy? Ooh. Who was your first kiss? What's your favorite thing you've ever gotten for your birthday? Do you like sweet tea? Mmm. I have to admit I don't. So I'm really curious to hear your answer. I do. Yeah. yeah we're no. torn. Mm -hmm. You're the deciding vote. What was your favorite food? Are there werewolves here? Did you just hear something? Like yeah. Okay. We're hearing some like phantom sounds, but that's fine. We're just gonna stay calm and finish talking to Catherine. There's a lot of highway noise right now. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to tell with the highway noise. Some of the noise is definitely coming from closer than the highway. People definitely just drove by the cemetery and stared at us because we're sitting on the ground talking to a gravestone. Yeah. And it's also starting to get dark, so. Yep. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Thank we you for talking your time. to us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, saved it. Okay, we just did an EVP session with Catherine. So once we are done here, we'll we'll go see what's going on. Um, we never did find out who else was talking to us, but somebody else was definitely talking to us um, and was answering questions yes. pretty well. Um, really well for being drunk. Right. <laughs> they, they did start out the conversation saying they were drunk, so they are our kind of people. We love them. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to go to a session with Dr. Yates. Yes. We are going to look for Dr. Yates' grave. It's supposed to be pretty close. You're supposed to be able to see it from Catherine's grave. Um, I don't know that you can see it very well. And it's getting significantly darker. Can we fan out? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go look this direction. There are also a lot of fallen leaves right now. So hopefully you can't hear them too much. So far, no luck with finding Dr. Yates. Let's see if maybe I can find from this direction. Oh, I see Yates. This might be him. It just says Yates. There's no information. There's no first name. This has to be him though. Oh, where did Kevin go? I'm alone in the cemetery and I'm scared. Oh, I found her. It says Yates. Catherine's coming up now, so I'm filling her in. It says Yates. There's no first names at all, no dates, it just says Yates. Maybe it's a family grave. Yeah, but 
It's weird that there's no names. There's a red light. The other end of the graveyard. And I don't know what it is, and it wasn't there earlier. Well, that's great. Um, and it is also getting dark fast, right when we're about to talk about all the spooky stuff. As we're about to talk to a guy who allegedly murdered someone. Yes. Allegedly. I did say I want to come in to this without judging him because I don't know what his intentions were. Um, I don't know if his intentions were to help or to cover something up. And um, I don't want to judge him for what he was forced to do given the time. Right. You know? So. Yeah, it could have been that during that time he actually didn't have bad intentions and he was just trying to help a girl in a desperate situation. Exactly. Just trying to help. Yes. Um, I don't know that for sure. I don't, I don't know what his intentions were, but I'm going to come into it without judging him. So, anyway, we are at what we believe to be the grave of Dr. Yates, who performed the operation that led to Catherine's death. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the EVP as well. Um, do you want to do the rods? Yeah, I can do the rods. Will you hold this without putting it in your pocket? Thank you. <laughs> I won't put it in my pocket and sit on it this time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Did that just... Okay, I think that's, I think it's just the phone then. Sorry, the EMF just went off a little bit, but we think it's because the phone was close to it. Um, because, again, we are skeptics a bit. Um, oh, tonight's making me question that a little. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is start using our EVP audio recording instead of what we tried to record with our mics because, you know, Catherine's wasn't on. And so at least you won't have to listen to just me rambling or us trying to splice her voice in for random lines because that's just not working too well. Um, I know it's really bad. So we're going to try to just use the EVP audio. There's a lot of background noise. But I think it's good enough for you to still understand. Hopefully it just adds to the spookiness of it. You can hear the wind and the coyotes howling and things like that. So hopefully, hopefully it's a nice touch. Um, we'll try to have that sort of thing fixed for next time and we will make sure our mics are on. So here we go. Okay, we are recording now. We're gonna introduce ourselves. I'm Madison. I'm Catherine. And we are looking for Dr. Abraham Yates. If you are Dr. Yates, we are recording EVP, so you can talk to us and we'll hear it later. Or you can use these rods. So we'll ask you yes or no questions and you can make the rods move. If you make them open all the way, that means yes. And if you make them cross, it means no. So are you Dr. Abraham Yates? Um, um they're, they're moving around a little bit, but not... They're not answering. They're not They're specific. not answering. Yeah. Um, Is somebody else here? If you are here, please open the rods. Somebody else is here that wants to talk, please open the rods. If you are not here, I guess they're not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I moved because I laughed. Sorry. Okay. okay. Um, if, if you're here and want to talk, please open the rods. If you're here and don't want to talk, please close the rods. Okay, they just opened okay, they all, just the opened way. all the way. Um, great. Are you Dr. Yates? Okay, they just opened. They opened completely. All right. <laughs> um, were you a doctor? They're mostly open. They're mostly open. Yeah. They're opening more. Yeah. Okay. Did you live in Kanawha? They're kind of staying open. They're not fully open, but they're they're pretty open. There's still a strange red light at the end of the graveyard, so I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. But maybe it'll be something normal, and we'll see it when we drive out. Yeah. Okay, they are fully open. So you did live in Kanawha. Did you live in Oklahoma City? I'm just trying to establish. Yeah. And they're starting to close. They're starting to close. Can you clearly cross yeah, them? Yeah. Can if you it's cross a no? them if it's a no? If you did not live in Oklahoma City, please cross them. Okay, they're... Okay, they cross. Okay, they cross. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. That helps us out a lot. It so really we, does. We understand you clearly. Yes. Um, were you married? 
I actually don't know this. I did I some know. research on you, but I don't know this. Were you married? They're starting to slowly open. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. That helps Thank us out a you. lot. Okay, they are yeah. fully open, so he said yes, he was married. Oh, and he returned back to normal. Good job. Thank, Thank you. you. That really helps a lot. Thank it you, does. Dr. Yates. Um, can I ask you some questions about Catherine? About Catherine Cross? Please open them for yes and cross them for no. I will respect your wishes, whichever one you say. Yes, we don't want to be disrespectful. Right. We are not coming in this to judge you. We'd like to hear your side of the story. Yes. So if you're willing to tell us your story mm -hmm. and talk to us about Catherine Cross, please open them. There are people driving by looking at us holding these rods at a headstone. Um, okay, sorry, Dr. Yates, I got distracted. Yeah, we got distracted. Um, We're human, we get distracted. I was about to ask if they had cars when he was alive, but that's a really dumb question. I'm sorry. I Yes, they did have vehicles when you were alive. Um, would you talk to us about Catherine Cross? Can we ask you some questions about her? Can you make it very clear for us? Yes. Like a Please very open them all clear. the way if it's a yes, and then cross them if it's a no. Okay. Okay, they are open. They're open. They're Thank open. Thank you. Thank you. Did she die from... A medical procedure. Pretty open. They're pretty open. I'd like to get. Oh. Okay, they open more. They oh, open okay. more. There they go. Thank you. Thank you. That helps us a lot. I appreciate it, Dr. Cross. Dr. Yates. Sorry, I said Dr. Cross. Dr. Yates. We're I not apologize. trying to be disrespectful. I apologize. Um, just trying to keep all the names straight. Were you trying to help Catherine Cross? They opened more. Okay. Okay, that's a yes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. It's really good to get your side of things as well. Do you know who the father of her baby was? Fully crossed. Them, Fully crossed. Right. Make an X. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Are there werewolves in Kanawha? There's been some rumor. If there are what werewolves. What do you think? If there are werewolves, will you open the rods? And if there are no werewolves, will you close the rods? Thank you. Okay. That's a great cross. Yes. Okay, so they cross. Okay, so he, so he said that there's they, werewolves. Yeah. So we also did some kind of open ended questions for the EVP, but we did not get anything on that. So nothing really to show from that one. Um, but the dousing rods worked really well. He answered a lot of questions with those, but not so much the EVP. All right, Dr. Yates, thank you for your time. We really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us and we wish you a very peaceful evening. And we're gonna head on out now because I'm scared because it's dark. You know, I was gonna talk about the spooky stuff here, but I'm too scared. I am too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna sage some stuff. We gotta go sage. Um, Thank you guys for listening. We'll see if we got anything. I mean, we got some dousing rod stuff sure for is. sure. So talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for joining us for our last episode of Violet Springs and Kanawha Cemeteries. Um, we're really excited that we got to do this story first because it's, it's a hometown story and it's something that we've grown up hearing. Um, and it's well known around here, but I think a lot of other people don't know about it, but I think it's a really interesting story. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you for sticking with us through the chaos, if anybody is still listening. Uh, we know we don't know what we're doing yet, but we'll get better, we hope. Anyway, thank you guys.